using some stinging nettle tea to get the day going. do some planting today uh, finally finger lime I'm gonna put that sucker in my first hole ground up here and blueberry and my mum's flowers that she took a cutting of um, she thinks that I need some more flowers up here so I'm gonna put that in and uh, yeah, see how we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so rich. No wonder everything just absolutely loves growing up here. Stinging nettle. Ah, uh, naughty. Yeah. Careful, should be should wrap gloves on. Yeah, Making my should. own rules. Got you more rocks over there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Here we go. So you got little flowers on it. Yeah, already, right? Cute. Okay, so. Found the spot for the finger lime. Sunny, warm, well drained position. And obviously, yet again, that beautiful rainforest soil. And because on the side of a volcano, pretty much. There's always these volcanic rocks in amongst it, but that's all right. I don't mind. Let's see how that goes, I reckon. Ooh, pretty close. A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. There we go. Done. Finger lime. Done. Thanks, babe. Ha. 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 <laughs> so, here we go. A little bit more colour for the garden. It's some petrified wood that I've found in my travels and some. Clear Quartz Cluster. <laughs> anyway. Ah, it's so beautiful up here. <laughs> oh, look at all that chickweed. I've been not way too much to eat. <laughs> Going in, goes into every meal, this stuff is so great. This old watering can I found in amongst all of the brush when I first bought the place. I was cleaning out all of the Lantana. This is what it used to look like. It was literally the whole place was like this. And yeah, I came through with my bare hands and my electric chainsaw and uh, a lot of hard work for about a year to clear it. And now it's the beauty that it is. Go, you 
a good thing. Our little blueberry. I had to show you guys this. Look at these silky oak pods, sea pods, that have been fallen from the, the big tree that I've got here. But look at the little baby silky oaks coming up. It's just absolutely fantastic. I might have to transplant those, obviously, transplant those out of this pot and uh, put them in the ground. And that's that dirt in there is the dirt from, from this place. <laughs> uh, life finds a way. Uh, everything just cranks up here so, so fast. This is a lemon tree that my mum bought me and it was like this big. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's yielding already. <coughs> Banana tree from my mate Grant's place. Uh, yeah, that was that was like this big as well. So it's all coming along. A fig tree from my mate Grant's place as well. That was like this big. Everything is uh, that actually had figs on it for the first time this year. So. Pretty happy with the way the soil is up here. It's just magnificent. Glad I uh, took out a pretty big bank line to, to grab the property, but anyway. Um, yeah, love it up here. This is a macadamia nut tree that I transplanted from my mate's property as well. It was like this big when I, when I put that in. Um, yeah, it's about six feet tall now, so, uh, and this is all just broadleaf parsley. It's, uh, like second generation stuff is, I've just let it grow. Like that was obviously here last season. I let it, uh, go to seed <coughs> and yeah, I've got far too much parsley to be able to eat for myself and my family. So I'm going to harvest a whole lot of that and take it down to friends and family. Give a whole heap of that stuff away. I just noticed here there's a... Oh, it's a I believe that's, that's a purple, like the purpley pink skin potato. I'm not sure exactly what the botanical name is but it's i know it's potatoes and uh, oh, there's some there's the nettle that i use for my for our stinging nettle tea this morning and there's some more potatoes here <coughs> so chelsea will enjoy digging those up in a couple of months I've been eating a whole lot of this stuff as well. It's just everywhere. And the narrow leaf plantain, all the all the lovely goodness. <sighs> Beautiful time in the morning. Beautiful part of the world. <laughs> So the container's been, hasn't been fitted out yet, but uh, yeah, somewhere to stay for now. <clears throat> somewhere to stay, that's the main thing. <clears throat> and I've got this little puppy, that's, uh, that's gonna be going in next weekend, because it gets cold up here, so, but that, we'll be going 
in next weekend. So fireplace sorted. And obviously I'll end up insulating all of this, but that's, that's a different job for another day. And I've roughed in some of the, I've started roughing in the electrics. I've got a basic lighting set up for now, but uh, that's enough just for now. Obviously I'm gonna run uh, you know, cabling all the way along and uh, the system is pretty healthy at 14.2. I've got a 2000 watt inverter over there. And uh, yeah, just a uh, yeah, basic setup for now, but all of this will be replaced eventually when I fit the container out. Uh, obviously the panel's on the roof because we've got power coming in and it's sitting at 14.2 volts at the moment, which is pretty darn healthy, so. I'll keep you guys updated as to how it goes, but the container, container cabin is coming along. <clears throat> Here you are. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Uh, my family's here. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, little guy. We were just weeding and found this little rainforest frog. He's a cool little rainforest frog and we're gonna put him over in Chelsea's fish pond. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. There he goes. Oh, he just swam straight to the bottom. <laughs> there you go, little guy. Well, there's some friends in there for yeah. him. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Peace. <laughs>